Is there anything more thrilling in the world of cricket than a fierce rivalry where every ball bowled and every run scored is charged with palpable tension? Now imagine the excitement magnified and spread over more than a century. That's the power of rivalries in cricket. They add a layer of intrigue, a dash of drama, and an extra ounce of anticipation to the already exhilarating sport. The genesis of cricket rivalries dates back to the late 19th century, with the first monumental clash being the Ashes series between England and Australia. The year was 1882, and the cricketing world was about to witness a rivalry that would not only stand the test of time, but also set a precedent for future face-offs. This grueling contest introduced the cricketing world to the concept of rivalries, embedding a sense of competition and national pride into the sport. The Ashes rivalry set the stage for a century of cricketing duels paving the way for rivalries that would shake up the world of cricket. As we journey through time, no rivalry has been more politically charged and emotionally intense than the India-Pakistan cricket duel. Born from the ashes of a partition that separated the two nations in 1947, this rivalry remains one of the most intriguing facets of world cricket. The first test match between the two, played in 1952 in Delhi, sowed the seeds of an enduring rivalry. Since then, every encounter between these two cricketing giants has been a spectacle. A turning point that intensified the rivalry was the 1971 tour of Pakistan by the Indian team. This was the first time the Indian cricket team had set foot on Pakistani soil since the partition. The series ended in a draw but set the tone for future encounters, with each match being more than just a game of cricket. Fast forward to 1996, the quarterfinals of the World Cup, a match that still echoes in the hearts of cricket fans from both nations. India's victory in this match, thanks to the heroics of Navjot Singh Sidhu and Ajay Jadeja, added fuel to the burning rivalry. It's not always been about victory and defeat though, the 2004 Friendship Series aptly named as it was aimed to ease the political tensions between the two countries, was a testament to the power of cricket. It reminded us that beneath the competitive spirit and intense rivalry, there's a shared love for the game that binds these two nations together. And who can forget the epic encounter in the 2017 Champions Trophy Finals? Pakistan's emphatic victory over India showed the world that on their day, they could beat the best. This match, like many before it, was not just a cricket game, it was a battle of pride, a battle of nerves, a test of resolve. The India-Pakistan matches are not just cricket games, they are battles that transcend the cricket field, echoing the sentiments of two nations. Moving across continents we land in the Caribbean, where the West Indies team, once the underdogs, rose to become the titans of cricket. This story of dominance is one of the most compelling chapters in cricket history, a tale of resilience, talent, and sheer determination. In the mid-70s as the cricketing world was still caught in the India-Pakistan saga, another rivalry was brewing in the Caribbean. The West Indies, a team often overlooked, began to assert their dominance particularly against England. This wasn't merely a rivalry, it was a clash of titans, a redefinition of power dynamics in the cricketing world. The West Indies' dominance spanned nearly two decades, from the mid-70s to the early 90s. During this period, the team was virtually unbeatable, with a winning streak that left even the most seasoned teams in awe. The West Indies team was a force to be reckoned with, their style of play aggressive, their spirit unbowed. Iconic players emerged during this era, players who would go on to become legends of the game. There was Viv Richards, with his swagger and destructive batting prowess. Then there were the fearsome pace bowlers, the likes of Malcolm Marshall, Michael Holding and Joel Garner whose deliveries struck fear into the hearts of the toughest batsmen. And who could forget the unforgettable matches that defined this era? The nail-biting 1979 World Cup final against England, where the West Indies defended their title with a thrilling victory, is a match that still reverberates in the annals of cricket history. But, the West Indies' dominance was more than just a cricketing achievement, it was a statement, a manifestation of their identity. They were no longer the underdogs, they were the titans of the cricketing world. Their rise to power was a testament to their resilience, a reflection of their indomitable spirit. The West Indies' rise to power in cricket was not just about the sport, it was a statement of their identity and a testament to their resilience. Uh, from the Caribbean we travel down under to witness a simmering rivalry between neighbors, Australia and New Zealand. The Trans-Tasman rivalry, named after the Tasman Sea that separates these two cricket-loving nations, is a story of intense competition and high drama. 
The rivalry began in earnest in the late 70s, with both teams vying for supremacy in the cricketing world. Many matches fueled this competition, but one in particular stands out. The year was 1981, and the stage was set for a one-day international cricket match. Australia, needing six runs to tie from the final ball, saw New Zealand's hopes dashed in one of the most controversial moments in cricket history. The infamous underarm bowling incident, where Australia's Trevor Chappell bowled underarm, rolling the ball along the ground to prevent New Zealand from hitting a six, is still discussed heatedly today. This act was not technically against the rules at the time but was widely considered against the spirit of the game. This incident added a significant amount of fuel to the Trans-Tasman rivalry fire. It was a moment that changed the relationship between the two teams, making every match that followed a test of not just skill, but also sportsmanship. Over the years the competition has only intensified. Matches between Australia and New Zealand are always fiercely contested, with both teams leaving no stone unturned to secure a win. The rivalry has seen some of the greatest cricketing moments, from thrilling finishes to individual brilliance, further establishing it as one of the most exciting in the cricketing world. While the trans-Tasman rivalry might not have the political undertones of other cricket rivalries, it still packs a punch with its share of controversies and intense competition. This rivalry, born out of a shared love for cricket and fueled by unforgettable moments, continues to captivate fans across the globe, reminding us of the incredible drama and excitement that cricket can offer. As we reach the end of our journey through cricket's greatest rivalries, one thing is clear. These rivalries have shaped the sport in ways unimaginable. The India-Pakistan saga, a saga of intense competition and national pride, has brought forth some of the most memorable moments in cricket history. The Caribbean dominance, marked by the mighty West Indies, has set new standards for the game and inspired generations of future players. Moving on to the Trans-Tasman tussle, the rivalry between Australia and New Zealand has further enriched the game, producing thrilling encounters and unforgettable performances. Each rivalry, unique in its own right, has left an indelible mark on cricket, shaping it into the enthralling spectacle it is today. These rivalries have not just been about winning or losing, they have been about honor, pride, and the sheer love of the game. Cricket rivalries with their drama, tension, and fierce competition are a testament to the passion that fuels this sport, a passion that continues to captivate millions around the world.